Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima on the Mysterious JG. Spent a lot of last video explaining off-screening. Hopefully we won't have to do too much of that going forward. But we definitely need to finish clearing out the Mongols at the Takashiki farmstead. The implication was that the Mongols were going to starve the country by destroying all of our farms. And I needed to hurry up and deal with it because it was desperately important. But it was always an optional mission that I could have ignored. And um, therefore, I don't feel that bad about having gone off and done a bunch of silly uh, just map exploration stuff in the meantime. But we do need to find out where the last... Because there's only, there's only four villagers who work this farm, by the way. We need to find them, rescue them. Oh, we got a... Uh, We got aminals, which is exciting in its way because it means uh, I'll get some money out of this. Animals tend to detect you from far away, but they may or may not actually alert. Yeah, they can't, they don't really smell you because they would be able to smell you from here. They've got a better detection distance than humans do, but it's still based on line of sight, whatever, whatever the game tries to tell you. I need to find an angle from which I can shoot some of these jerks. Because suddenly out of nowhere I decided I'm going to go be like Mr. Ranged Combat guy. Oh no, 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 I don't want... No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant this, yeah. I meant to do the long bow and a heavy arrow. I think I did a regular arrow. It's it's fine. If you get a headshot with an arrow, you're gonna kill somebody, but I think this is down to me. I'm trying not to take chances. Really knocked him on his ass. I try not to take chances because I don't want to have to redo. Oh, interesting. No matter, you can't hold. And this is this is. Uh, I don't mind this mechanic, it makes sense, but you can't hold the, uh, you can't keep the bow drawn indefinitely. Eventually he releases because it saps your strength. Makes complete sense. Kind of tired of killing everybody with a bow, I need you to turn around. Pretty sure the animals don't uh, don't go around attacking hostages. You're going to be all right. But I was working with the Mongols, particularly their animals. What did he say? Like that? Why did I agree to? I'm just going to go stand and stare at this wall now. 
they didn't program me with a very good, like, you know, route to walk away. Anyway, so, unfortunately for me, I'm not getting... I get three times regular arrows. No replacement for the heavy arrows. And then I get the heavy arrows. That teaches me for complaining. No replacement for the sticky bombs. If I want to have a full supply of sticky bombs, the only reason I use sticky bombs is because the game told me I would get a bonus, and then I blew it by getting detected. That was not the game's fault. That was my fault. Um, although I, I, I guess I kind of thought once I'd gotten the sticky bomb use bonus, it would just stay. Uh, but I guess it doesn't work that way. It's fine. We'll, we'll endure. Now, if I want to go around with full sticky bombs for future, I would need to probably buy some because they show up just very random and rare. It's not that rare, I guess, but I don't like counting on being able to find them. Generically finding arrows, even explosive arrows, seems like, well, I mean, I'm going to Mongol camps where they maintain a supply of ammo for their own use. Like, it would make some sense that I could find arrows but like yeah why does that guy have smoke bombs he's not a freaking mongol ninja is he there were some mongol guys using sticky bombs before at any rate we're now very much in a mode of try to find where the last hostage is and don't accidentally walk too far away so that i lose my progress Which can, frankly, be a little challenging. I need to figure out. I've already cleared a bunch of sections of this farm of bad guys. Mei Ling would give me advice on what to do when I'm all around and surrounded by bad guys. Um, but somewhere... Maybe it's all the way over here. Maybe that's like a section of farm on the other side of the rice paddies. I just don't want to accidentally reset the place somehow by walking too far away. You get little warning messages when you're walking too far away from a, uh, a story mission. And you can fail the mission. I don't know if it can work the same way with these farm clearing missions. Okay, but that doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be anybody over here. And it threw down an auto save, which made me nervous that I got an auto save for leaving the area. Well, if we're, well, we may reestablish, like it may pop up again with the name of the farmstead and then tell us one of four left to rescue. I thought I saw it. Komoda Inlet. For a second, I thought it was Kadama in that. I was like, oh, you little feckers. Would you get back to the feckin' shrine, you little Kadamas? That would be Neo and Neo 2. I think uh, inherited people being sick of me playing uh, Japanese set combat games from Neo and Neo 2 made not that many people give this series a chance. This is a very different game from Neo. Because I'm... Uh, terrible at video games i'm making both of them look quite challenging but neo is legitimately really hard while this game is more of um much more of a relaxed open like you know it's like the steambot chronicles of mongols invading japan it's a relaxed non-linear adventure <laughs> but uh no i can make it look difficult and the combat's not like super easy that you can just be completely not even trying and, and just walk, walk through everything. Here's, here's the smuggles we were looking for finally. Unless we've just hit a different group entirely. I hope this isn't just a random group of guys. Okay. 
But I am kind of feeling like let's uh, let's challenge them. Draw your blades. Oh, this is a random group of outlaws. This isn't this even the Mongols. Okay. All right. That wasn't even part of the farmstead. I officially moved far enough away from the farmstead that I am officially worried uh, our progress might not have been saved. Yeah, well, it did. Uh, it did move us. We did move far away enough that it felt the need to restate our objective once we got back. But um, it kept our progress, which is nice. It didn't just like spawn new villagers to rescue and a new objective if we want bonus points. But that being said, we still haven't figured out where the goddamn last uh, hostage is to be rescued. Now, it's possible that I'm being an idiot and there were two hostages being, you know, in the same area being guarded by one group of Mongols and I rescued one and then moved out. Destroy the Mongols, my lord. If you do, you will get a year-long free membership to play online. So as long as I don't fast travel like way, way far away from this place, I'm fairly confident that we can, uh, here we go. And I think I may have found them anyway. Mongolians. Sorry, so South Park. There, South Park episode where the guy uh, is like, get away from my shitty walls or whatever. I I don't think I've ever seen that. I've just heard other people describe it. I mean, could I just call these guys out for a challenge? You know what? I think that's not available on the hostage uh, ones. I keep doing that. Like, uh, whatever. I'm hitting the wrong, uh, doing the wrong menuing, trying to switch back and forth to Ronin attire. I can get to a couple of these guys easily and like wait for that guy to come back and get him unless he patrols all the way around the exterior. I don't have that much patience. That guy I can obviously get, but I do really risk getting spotted by somebody else. These little things are really my allies in this uh, situation. Oh boy, I've messed this up. I 
I just, I really don't want to mess this up now, uh, because one more hostage, and if they get killed while I'm fighting the others, then it would just break my little heart. I'd have a whole lot of extra work I'd have made for myself as far as having to do, find some other, uh, objective. Well, they've closed ranks, which is the smart thing to do here. I don't know how long they're going to wait in those positions. This is where Assassin is really good. Chain Assassin is really good in those situations. That was exactly the right number of guys to use that approach. Because I didn't really, I wasn't really in a position to assassinate all those guys. But I guess, and I wasn't sure it worked that way. I was sure I could kill those first two guys, and then there would only be two left. And I figured unless I got really unlucky, I would be able to stop them from, with only two of them left, I would probably be able to, to keep the hostage alive until I dealt with them. But then when it's like, oh, once you're in that chain, like even the guys that you weren't in range to assassinate, your assassination range like expands, I guess. Anyway, this is it. We just freed the island. Or this chunk of the island. I'm still alive. Thank you, my Whatever may occur, I will find me. Well, oh, well, that would be if he told himself to stay alive. And now we get a little scene about the key, I guess. Or maybe we just get the armor. Takashiki Farmstead. Bonus objective completed. Increased legend. Cool beans. Now I normally end up taking a nap on my horse, but should, somebody should give me a super treasure here. I Legend Storyteller? Wasn't there some armor I was supposed to get? Oh, I unlocked a new legend storyteller. Isuhara liberated. Get a reward for that? I certainly didn't want to do this on ca off camera in case anything like special happened, but Well, the whole thing lights up white. I don't know if that means I have full exploration, like if I hadn't gone and manually explored places. Although a legend storyteller that I guess I never saw before popped up on the map, so. Perhaps, um. Winding Mountain Shrine we never completed. Interesting. I wonder if, uh, I wonder, A, I wonder if I can go to Straw Hat Encampment and find a bunch of Straw Hats, but B, I'm like, oh, I wonder if uh, anything I didn't find that you could complete, like a haiku or something, is now no new vanity gear from that guy. But I think I'd done a fairly, oh, wait, there's a undiscovered location. Hard to say if that was there before or not. And there is a shrine that we just we just flat out forgot about. I'm not seeing a lot of places that are lit up like uh Why is this gold? Because I could uh get upgrades for armor, which I'm not going to do right now. Okay. Well I'll tell you what, let's go um We also look at our gear, like, are we supposed to have unlocked some kind of legendary thing? Well, we got the six keys. Maybe this undiscovered location is some kind of secret armor storage house. 
Or maybe I gotta talk to you. Thieves and murderers are everywhere. Mm -hmm. But the bandits preying on Hiyoshi are worse than the invaders. The worst well, now that the invaders are gone. Of their own people. A woman at Ketchy Fishing Village lost her whole family to the fiends. I'm sure she'd appreciate the comfort of a samurai. Um, I th could swear I've already heard that exact dialogue and even described it. The Laughing Bandits. People are claiming bandits have grown more bold in Komoda. I need to protect the survivors here and learn the truth. Well, that's, uh... That's a new quest on this island. Alright, well, this is surprising. So, I guess we're not done on this island after all. We've got a new quest that we were told about. We've got, um, even though it's exactly the same wording as another quest we were previously told about, we've got, uh, that is the undiscovered location. Okay, well, I was about to go, because I was about to set Ketchy Fishing Village as the fast travel point and go there. But that was the undiscovered location, right? Yeah. Um, the other thing we need to do... I don't want to forget about doing the uh, Winding Mountain Shrine. But let's uh, let's get to this first. Uh, we were just told about this woman who needs help, and we've been told about other women who need another woman who needed to help in the exact same way, and we ignored that. But this lady we're going to help immediately. The lover brother of Yuna, Taka, is a talented blacksmith of the night. I think that would have given... Um, we stay on Tsushima. I think that would have given uh, Final Fantasy X uh, a different kind of... I think that would have been good. Uh, you know, Yuna would have been more developed and nuanced as a character if she had a brother and her brother was Taka Michinoku uh, from Michinoku Pro Wrestling. <laughs> I also earned and spent technique points. Uh, I was trying to get better at combat since that had been challenging off screen. Um, the first level 3 skill I wanted to get to was automatic parry spear attacks during any wind stance attack basically that means against spear guys you can now uh if you're in wind stance you you are okay to just spaz out on the attack button because uh if you're in mid attack and they attack you instead of it generally because spears have longer to or longer range than swords go figure usually if a spear guy attacks you while you are trying to attack them they'll get you and this one you automatically parry and you don't like just get to hit all of your attacks but it means you're fairly safe we could also work on uh the third boon stance heavy attack deals extra melee damage and stagger damage drown your foe see i'm not using these fancy techniques which is probably a problem so we eventually want to get so, like, the, the most useful of the level 4 attacks to me seems to be, like, because I'm not very complex in my combat style. Stone, momentum. You're just doing heavy attacks really fast. That's it. It's just speeding up your attacks. These are increasing uh, the usefulness of specific special combo techniques that I haven't been using too much that all involve like holding triangle and then pressing triangle. I'm just basically slamming on whichever button seems to be the best one to use in a given situation. Um, but to me, the most useful level three attack was the one I already have. The second most useful is the, is this one, but the most useful level four attack would be stone. Shield guys are not the ones who typically give me the most trouble. Sword guys can be pretty rough sometimes. And then there's a part of me that's like, eventually I'm going to unlock whatever these are, and I might really regret that I can't max them out right away, so maybe I'll hold on to that point for right now. But anyway, let's... Uh, let's start... Heading for the Laughing Bandits. It's pretty much time to call it a video, so we will... Hmm. 
merchant hid him in his sake cup. He stuck him inside. See, they're chatting about the legend of me, ghost samurai badass man. But, um... We will... We're going to end up doing this, this quest next time. Uh, but I just wanted to be ready to get it started. I'm also... I guess I'll check... Um, so this video will be just a little on the short side. But I'm going to check between videos and see if we're supposed to get anything for liberating these farms. Like a special armor or something. The legendary armor of whatever. I don't know. We'll find out next time. Bye-bye.